on this episode of Fish Warrior. People really think that Welsh catfish could be a man-eater. Ah, the fish is trying to pull me under the water. I come to the fish, he oh. attacked me on the leg. Oh. A big fish like this, you have a lot of legend. Okay, I'm trying to get inside. Oh, it's biting me. Be careful now, be careful. Engine in the water, engine in the water. Fast, 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 guys. Otherwise, the fish will get into the tree. Fast, guys. Wow, that's a good place. I can feel it. It's definitely fish over two meters. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, that's giant. Wow. <laughs> I'm Jakub Wagner, <laughs> and I have one passion. Catching a monster Ooh. fish. Go, 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 it's a big fish. I hold the world record. And now I'm pushing myself even further, traveling the globe to find and protect the last remaining freshwater giants. Oh, I'll stop at nothing. Oh, ah! I've been fishing for Welsh catfish since I was nine years old. And I've got some really big ones. The biggest one was 242 pounds, and it was world record. They grow really big here on the Rhone River, and I think that's the best place in all of Europe to catch Welsh catfish over 250 pounds. And that's the reason why I'm here. Welsh catfish are one of the biggest freshwater fish in Europe. They can grow up to 16 feet long and weigh half a ton. They are ambush hunters that strike without warning. They eat fish frogs, rats, birds, and some say even more. I would like to explore rumors about Welsh catfish attacking the humans. I'm really curious about all these reports because a lot of people really think that Welsh catfish could be a man-eater. I, I know one story of young women which was bitten in Germany, in, in Lake in Berlin, and she was bitten real badly. Two women went swimming in a lake. One of the women felt something really big grab hold of her leg. She was rushed to the hospital and the researchers took a look of a bite on her leg. It was shaped like a crescent moon. They knew right away this was the bite from a Welsh catfish. Attack stories like this one show what injury large whale catfish can cause. They may only defend themselves, but the larger the fish, the bigger the injury can be. The jaws are powerful enough to drag people underwater. I brought my good friend Josef on this trip because to catch a large whale catfish is difficult. And it's always good to have a second pair of hands around. Josef doesn't speak in English, so time to time I have to ask him some questions in Czech. We need to try and get somewhere around. That's our fishing spot for tonight. Catfish love all submerged underwater constructions 
and these trees in the water, it looks very good as well. We go with the first rut upstream from the boat. Over there where is the green tree. That will be our first position, first bait fish. And then we will go lower and lower. And the last rut will be probably somewhere over there. Now, because I'm going to fish in the middle of the night, I'm going to use bell like this and chemical light so I can see the action of the rod even when it's dark. I will fish all day and all night, whatever it takes to get my monster. But I know that fishing in the night is very challenging because I can't see anything. But um, bells and lights will help me a lot. I will know right away when I have a strike. Our boat is anchored in a place where are 13, 14 meters. Here we have around three and four. And just one meter over there where is the strong current, there is edge where the, where the bottom goes to the deep hole. Okay, rods are in the water. Sun is going down, we fly 30, 40 minutes of light. And after dinner, we have to be quiet because we are fishing really close to our float and I don't want to scare the fish. Actually, we are just a few miles from one of the best meals in the world, in France, but we won't catch a big fish. So we have to fish in the middle of the river and we have to cook in the middle of the river. That's how we will get a big fish. The temperature is really cold. This is a huge problem for me. When the water temperature is low, whales catfish don't feed, and it's nearly impossible to catch one. Like two hours nothing, and suddenly the rod is getting crazy because the bait fish can feel the whales catfish around. Yeah, but nothing. We need to wait. I'm really unlucky with the weather. I hope it will change in the next few days. Because like this, to catch a whale's catfish is getting more and more difficult. My first night on the Rhone and no fish. This morning, I hope new strategy will bring an even bigger fish. I will be fishing from this very small thing over there. We call it belly boat. And I need my waders and my clunk, fishing rod, one gloves in case I catch a whale's catfish and fins. In the belly boat, I'm close to the water surface and it's also quiet compared to the boat with an engine, so I can sneak up on the fish. Put the fish finder on. I will need to drift a little bit more downstream because this is not a good stretch. But over there, there are some trees on the left side and on the right side, it's a deep channel, nice back eddy. So it's a good place for day fishing because Actually now, they catfish hunt mainly in the nighttime. So in the daytime, they lie on the bottom in deep channels, in deep holes. And that's exactly the place where I'm going to find them. This fishing technique is called clonking. It's very, very old fishing technique, which probably comes from Russia, but we are not sure about it. I use clonk where catfish are not active at all. I a little bit try to help them 
Get them out of the bottom. Longing imitates the sound of catfish talking to each other. The sound waves are picked up by the well catfish through a set of bones called the Weberian apparatus. The vibrations enter the fish's air bladder and they are amplified. This attracts the well catfish. And what I'm hoping for, they are going from the bottom up even close to my belly boat. And it happened to me many times before. I've seen whale catfish swimming around my boat or belly boat, even like dolphins, and it's incredible. But sometimes it works, sometimes not. So I'm hoping that I will see a huge line on my fish finder going close to my bait fish and then grab the bait fish, and that's the moment. It reminds me of another whale catfish story. There was a German with very, very small duck like this. And that lady, she was always throwing wooden stick into the water. And I told her all the time, don't do this, don't do this, because catfish, they can hear very well. So if you, if you throw the stick all the time into the same place, those catfish will eat your duck. And suddenly, she throw the stick again on the surface. <laughs> huge wave. And the dog was completely under the water. And then they didn't find him. Of course, she didn't know what she was doing. But when she was throwing the piece of the wood on the surface, hunting catfish was probably around and was curious about it. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do here right now, making vibrations calling well catfish close to my belly boat. Fish is here, the fish is coming up. I can see something on my fish finder. The fish is coming. The fish is coming fast. Yeah. Uh, it's on. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. It looks like good fish. Yeah, belly boat fishing is kind of sport because I'm not fighting only with the fish, but as well with the river and very strong current. Uh. Fighting a fish in a belly boat is really hard. It's all upper body strength and there is nothing to use as leverage. I have to be careful here. There are some trees over there close to the shore. It's coming up slowly but surely. Yeah, I see the fish. Yes, it's good fish. Now I have to be really careful because sometimes it can happen that the treble hook is out of the mouth and then, of course, I have my legs totally under the water. It wouldn't be nice to get one of these treble hooks to my fins or to my leg. Wow. Ah! <laughs> I'm on the Rhone River in France on a mission to land a well catfish that's over 250 pounds. I jump in the belly boat. I can see something on my fish finder. And it's fish on! Yeah! Okay, so now the most difficult part to land the fish into the belly boat. Okay. Okay. Looks the fish is ready. Okay, okay, okay. All the way. Oh, yeah! Got it! Got it, got it, got it! Oh. 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 My belly boat is no match for this amazing predator. Oh. It's snapped in two. My belly boat is completely destroyed. Well, catfish is definitely the strongest freshwater fish in Europe and one of the strongest fish in the world. The muscles are just everywhere from the mouth to the end of the tail. And uh, actually the second half of its body it's a huge fin. When this fin is moving in the water, this fish is extremely powerful. 
Thank you for a good fight. Don't bite me now. And see you next time. The Belliveau strategy works, but to catch a 250 pound Welsh catfish from Belliveau is impossible because such a fish is just too big. Today I'm going to meet French catfishman Xavier Vela. He's a very good catfisherman here in France. And I would like to ask him some questions about Welsh catfish. And of course, as well, I heard that he was bitten by Welsh catfish as well. So let's see what stories he can share with me. Hi, Xavier. Hey, Jacob. How are you? What? Well, and you? Perfect. Nice to see you again, man. Who is the fishing? Fishing is always perfect. Uh, we can start fishing here. Yeah, I think we should try start fishing here. Yes. So let's turn. I will jump into your boat upstream a little okay, bit, okay? Okay, okay. Perfect. I've heard stories about Welsh catfish attacks all across Europe, but I would like to know if this is also happening here on the Rhone River. Xavier, did you ever heard about some Welsh catfish attacks on dogs or even humans here in France? Uh, you have some uh, re real story and some legend, you know? Yeah. Because a big, big fish like this, you have a lot of legend. One time I have a catfish in captivity. Uh, I have caught uh, catfish around 2 meter, 2 meter 10. And I have it in captivity to make a picture. And when I, I come to the fish, oh! Oh! he attacked me on the leg. Oh! He, he, he let me on my leg, um, a yeah. nice souvenir. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, catfish is top predator around here and they are not scared of anything. This fish is very large, very long. Uh, he, he has a bad character, okay? It's old. A catfish around two meters is 20 years old. Uh, for that reason that he is aggressive. In France, uh, catfish is a big monster of the of the Rhone. Yeah. In Spain, they call it Ebro monster. Yeah. And in Italy, they call it Po monster. Still there, it's still there. Yeah, no. Finally, we have a fish on the line. Have you seen the strike? Yeah. But I have no idea what yeah. size it is. Yeah? It's yeah. okay. Is it on? I really hope it's a monster fish. It's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good fish. Still there. While Xavier is quickly reeling in the fish, I'm watching for my first glimpse of it at the surface because I really want to see the size of the fish. The fish is coming up. Now it's six meters under the boat. Yeah, it's a good fish. Yeah. And two meter fish. Two meter fish. Look at this fish. Nice one. Yeah, over two meters. Okay, are you ready? Not yet. As I get the fish close to the boat, I quickly tap it on the head. I'm checking to see how much fight is left in the fish because I have to tire the fish before I bring it on the boat. Okay, I have it. Okay, man. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ah. yeah, man, well done. Look at this fish. <laughs> <laughs> Good fish. Oh, it's biting me. Hey. Well done. Congratulations, man. Good size. 
I know right away that this was catfish is not catfish of my dreams. It's too small, but since smaller fish are safer to handle, I'll take a chance and have a look inside of its mouth. Man, I'm always oh. so impressed by the size of Man. the mouth of whale's catfish. It's look, incredible. Look, no problem. Even your head <laughs> wouldn't be <laughs> a problem. You can go. <laughs> yeah. It's huge. And these teeth, they are small, but if they bite you, uh, yeah, you can have a problem. In the beginning of the mouth, you have a lot, a lot, a lot of yeah. little, little, little teeth. Teeth like needles. Their teeth are not for tearing. Whales catfish use their teeth like small fangs. They grip their prey like a vice. Looking deep inside this fish is amazing. I can see how they hold on to prey, even large animals, and eat them whole. Just a few teeth, but, them, but really big. <laughs> yes. After the teeth come the gill rakers. They help keep the food inside the fish's mouth. Yes, the, the, this cat is around 65 kilo. Yeah, 60, 65 kilos. 60, 65. Yes. But uh, for it, for it uh, eating a human, uh, yeah, it's still it too must small. be five, five times. <laughs> yeah, I think if, if we are talking about fish which would be able to swallow human, that was catfish would have to be at least 300 kilos. You can say it's only 65 kilos, but it's pretty heavy fish. Okay, do you have it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, careful. The slime is everywhere. Thank you, man. It was a pleasure to fish with you. Yeah. Thank you very For much. For me too. Another night on the river. Now I can't believe that, but the weather is even worse. It's so cold, it's incredible. <sighs> the weather has to change otherwise. It will be very difficult to catch a big whale's catfish. Such a small zodiac is really handy. Jump in. Okay, I think let's put the first boat over there, just behind the grass. It's very important to place my bait fish on the very best possible spot. Stone in the water. So that's why I use a weight and buoy to keep my bait fish exactly where I want it. Okay, the stone is on the bottom. This is perfect spot because we are right on the edge from the deep hole to shallow water. It's very important to know uh, something about whales, catfish, for example, where they hunt and how they hunt. Actually, they can hunt uh, close to the shoreline, especially in the night. They rest in the daytime, just in the hole behind me where it's very deep water. So I will put at least two boy systems in the middle of the river, close to the bottom. And how they hunt, they are like vacuum cleaners. So they are trying to find the fish and when they find the fish, they open the mouth and suck it in. So let's get ready. Josef is making the dinner. He's a very good fisherman, but he's even better cook. And now I can wait only for my love, Will's catfish. Catfish, 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 where are you? Fishing for over 20 years has definitely taught me patience. You have to be able to wait and wait and waiting all the time. But you also have to be able to keep focus because you never know when a big fish could strike. I eat, breathe, sleep, basically live for fishing.
I will stay out here a week straight, fish 24-7, if that's what it takes to get my big world's catfish. Come on, fish. I want a monster one tonight. because I'm getting the fish closer to the shore. A lot of grass and maybe even some trees so the fish can get inside. Okay, 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 the fish is getting close. Wow, it's big fish. It's coming on the surface. Yeah. Three days, two catches. Come on, fish. I want a monster one tonight. But I have not yet found a wealth over 250 pounds. I won't stop until I catch my river titan. Fish on! Uh, yeah, it's very good fish. Uh, okay, 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 the fish is getting close. Wow, it's big fish! Oh, look at the shape of this fish. Come on, man. Oh, ow. Yeah. This fish is not enough. ready to go, look at this. The fish bit me on the hand. Now I'm bleeding and I still have to pull the fish into the boat. Ow! Oh, now, hopefully better. No. Oh. He is, he is really mad. This guy is really aggressive. Yeah. Come on. Ah, oh, ah, it's a big and hulky creature. Come on, man, you're heavy. Ah, ah, yeah, ah, I'm bleeding. But it was worth it to this fish. Check the size of its head. It's a very nice fish. Ah. The jaw of this fish is really powerful and I wasn't careful enough. So when I was holding the fish, oh, the ow. fish shook its head yeah. and cut my finger really badly. It shows me how powerful these fish are. Let's unhook the fish. The hook is again in the beginning of the mouth, which is really good. Well, catfish has incredible large mouth and it's not only by accident because they don't bite the fish, they swallow the prey whole inside. So if something fits there, they will try and eat it. And what's very interesting, the lower jaw is protruding forward the upper jaw. I don't know why, but these fish are always much more aggressive. I don't have my legendary catfish yet, but I can still get some important data. Okay, 10 inches is the width of the mouth and 22 here, 40 here, 60 here, it's getting bigger and finally 75 inches. So it means six feet, three inches. So actually the mouth is one seventh of the body length. It's incredible. Josef, please can you come here? I need a help. Now I would like to check the stomach content because I can learn what they eat in different seasons. And now I can learn what kind of bait fish use in different seasons. It's very important for me. 
I'm sure that this fish is not a man-eater, but reaching inside these huge jaws, I'm sure that this fish will taste some of my blood. Josef, you, you have to hold the head, because if the fish starts turning, that's very bad for me, okay? Okay, now I have to put the glove on, on my right hand, so I can open the mouth of Wells catfish. Now to check the size of its mouth, it's incredibly huge. I'm easily able to stick my whole head inside. Now I can really understand why are people so scared of Welsh catfish and why some of them could think it's a man-eater. The thing is, Welsh catfish is able to move only with the lower jaw, not with the upper jaw, okay? And I tell you one thing, don't try this if you don't know how to do it, okay? I learned this because I caught some Welsh catfish uh, which broke the line before and the hook was still in the stomach. So I had to find the hook and get the hook out of the stomach because such a fish could easily die. It's really risky, so don't, don't do this if you don't know how. Okay, I'm trying to get inside. I have to be extremely careful with this fish. One wrong move and this fish could bite my hand and do serious damage. Okay, I'm nearly there. Hold the fish, hold the fish. What's very important, say, this doesn't harm the fish because Welsh catfish are able to throw the stomach if they eat something what they don't like. Okay. Ow. Oh. Ah. Yeah. The stomach is not empty, that's, that's for sure. I have something. Ah. I have something. I will try to pull it out. But of course, the fish is biting me. Ah, okay. It's coming out, it's coming out, it's coming. Don't worry, it's my blood, okay? And this is the fish. Ah, oh, it's gross. This fish is a bream. The smell is 100 times worse than you can imagine. It's rotten fish from inside of another fish. Really terrible. That's not the bait fish what I had on my hook. It's definitely uh, older fish. I can smell it. Exactly like this, I can learn what they feed on in very different seasons. Seen with Welsh catfish, they take any chance to hunt. They will eat just about anything they can find. I know another attack story from Russia. Welsh catfish was caught and they actually found human remains inside its stomach. But I don't think that this Welsh catfish actually attacked that guy, that person. I think this person was already drawn dead on the bottom and the catfish thought that it's easy prey. I don't want to steal this prey to this guy. Now I can even show you the suction of the mouth of Welsh catfish. This is truly a beautiful fish. It's not the size what I dreamt of, but now I can really understand why are people scared of Welsh catfish and why they think that such a big fish could easily bite a human. I know that there are some bigger catfish and I will never stop looking for these giants. I had my whole left hand in his stomach so I can still see some teeth marks on my hands. The left hand is fine but this finger is quite painful. I can even see these lines from the teeth, how, how they were scratching my fingers. Yeah, if this happened, it's really important to disinfect it because there are a lot of bacteria between these small teeth, you know? Okay. And that rot, please. I know I'm getting closer to an epic was catfish. Now I'm more determined than ever to catch a 250 pounder.
Five days are already gone and I've been working without stopping. But I will never give up my search for a true giant. I have to be ready all the time. I can sleep in the night because catfish is a really powerful animal. I have to set the hook immediately and start to fight a fish. Otherwise, big catfish could even steal my rod if I'm sleeping. So there is no time for sleeping at all. Oh, 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 fish, 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 fish. That was a take. Wait a second, I have to check it. Pepo, and I start to engine it. You also have to start the engine it because this is good fish. Because there is a tree, I don't want to pull the fish. I can pull the fish, Josef. Okay, 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 engine in the water, engine in the water. Fast, 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 guys. I can tell right away, this fish is extremely powerful. Now we have to be careful with other rods, okay? So go backwards, go backwards, go backwards. This has to be a very big fish. Okay, that's it, that's it, that's it. Go, 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 go. Hey. Okay, now we have to be careful with the line, okay? So this rod was very close to the shore. Okay. Go there, go there, go there. I go in the front, I go in the front. Be careful now, be careful. You have my head one. Give it to me, give it to me. Okay, okay, okay. Go backwards, still go backwards. Otherwise the fish will get into the tree fast, guys. The fish is trying to escape. And there are a lot of underwater trees. The fish could snag my line any time. Okay, we are just above the fish now. That's a big fish. That's a really big fish. Wow. Wow, that's a good fish, I can feel it. Now the fish is really close to the bottom and it's definitely fish over two meters. I know that, okay, look at this rod. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a big fish. That's a really big fish. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, we have to try to get away from the boy. Okay, try to go backwards. Backwards, gently, 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 because the fish is trying to get and snag me into the buoy. That's my worst fear. The worst catfish has found my buoy. I don't know, I don't know what to do. If the line gets tangled, it could cost me my catch. Okay, what happened? The fish is in buoy, because we were fishing in this very small bay. I put here two floats. But unfortunately, this catfish is really clever and went immediately into the second flow. So we have to cut it here and let's hope the fish will get away. Okay, we need to cut the buoy. We need to cut the buoy immediately. Get there, get there, cut it, otherwise we will lose the fish. But be careful, the, the fish is just under the boat and it looks, the fish is big. Wait a sec, wait a sec. Oh, the fish is really big. Cut it, cut it. Wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. Yes, cut it, yeah. I'm so relieved to have the fish free. But now the real fight begins. The fish is trying to pull me under the water. could be the worst catfish of my life. An incredible monster that inspires the man eat legend. I must hold on. Oh, come on, baby, come on, come on, come on. Fish, 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 fish. That was a take. Okay, 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 engine in the water, engine in the water, fast, fast, fast. After six days of fishing, 24 seven, I finally have a monster fish on the line. The fish is trying to escape. Okay, we are just above the fish now. Uh, wow. Wow, that's a good fish. It has to be fish well over two meters. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, this giant. Oh. Come here, come here, Peppa. Come here, come here. I have to grab the fish as, as fast as possible. Okay. Wow, that's a big fish. Hold the rod. First, okay. 
Okay, be careful, be careful, be careful. It's well over two meters, guys. It's well over two meters. Now, slowly, slowly, slowly. After such a long fight, I'm so tired, but I have to push myself. I have to land the fish and pull it into the boat. Wow. This catfish is bigger than my boat. Wow. Wow. Ah. So this is the giant of the river own. Look at this huge mouth. This fish is big enough and old enough and strong enough to definitely eat a dog or duck or really big animal which is swimming in the river. And I don't want to imagine fish with 400, 450 pounds, 10 feet long, such a fish would be able to grab me and pull me under the water with no problem at all. Incredible fish. It will be light soon. And this fish is definitely worthy enough to go to the water, make some pictures and release it. Our boat is over 10 feet long. So now you can really see the size of the fish. It's massive. Well, catfish can actually stay out of the water safely for quite a long time. Try to push the boat on the right side. Doprava, doprava. Right, right. Okay, that's good. Now I think we can pull the fish in the water over here. Okay, help me now. These jaws are really powerful. When I was trying to get the fish into the boat and now from the boat, bit me many, many times. And I'm really happy that I have these gloves because, ah, you see? Ah, very strong jaws. Plastic is not long enough. Oh. How long is the fish? 239. Two meters 39, that's incredible. 94 inches. It means just under eight feet. It's already so huge. But to think there could be worse twice as big is incredible. Okay, the slime from the fish was horrible. So that's why I have to take the jacket off. Okay, so now the girth. The girth is 99 centimeters, so it means 39 inches. I'm around 145 pounds, and this fish is way longer, way heavier. The fish is over 200 pounds. Now I can understand why people are scared of well scared fish, and why people think that such a big fish could swallow a whole human. Okay. I do not believe Welsh catfish actually target humans, but I do think if a Welsh catfish ever grew large enough, they could certainly try and swallow a person. That's how this species has survived for millions of years. They are the ultimate predators. One, two, three. It's already bigger than me. Oh. At least one meter of the fish is still in the river. Oh. Oh. This is not the record catch, but it's not only about the size. I'm always so impressed by their power and strength. And this, well, catfish has given me incredible fight.